Hey guys, it's your boy Curb Heroes, and welcome to my brand new secondary career mode with the, the old lady. He, he, this is FIFA 16, and this is my Juventus career mode. I'm in Italy with the Italian giants themselves, Juventus, who started off the, this is in real life very poorly, slowly arguing to form. I'm gonna rectify that. I'm gonna take them on the down and and run that we expected Juventus to go on. And the first game up is Udinese. Hey, let's take them down. Oh, and of course you gotta start with a home game. And this is the formation I'm gonna run as with Juventus. I've decided hey, to go with. I'm looking at it as a five-man midfield with you know, a kind of a different variation of a four or a five-one. I guess you could look at it as a four-one-three-two if that is even a formation. As you can say, I have Pug, but Cam. I know he can't. Isn't technically a Cam, but I'm gonna play him there. Because, you know, you gotta have Pogba in Juventus' team. And playing him at defensive role oh, would just be stupid. I've brought in some new players. The likes of Philippe A. Anderson, who I signed from Lazio. Talis, oh, who's only playing in this match. Because as I wanted to give him his tape in the first game. Him, I signed him him. Him on a alone with an option to buy at the end. The loan, no, of course, it doesn't matter. I won't be here for a, for a longer than one season. And I've signed Malo, who is a, a really he, he decent and, and, and right back. At 23, I think it was Celta Vigo or someone like that. It might have been Celta Vigo. I will have to double check that, but yeah, yes indeed. I signed him from. It was definitely a Spanish team. Him, sign him up to, who, oof, a lot the eight defensive problems, um, at the right hand side, because of course, Juventus has solved their left back problem by bringing in Alexandro, who, coincidentally, I had planned to bring in. And it's like we're on the same wavelength. And I had planned to sign Alex Drove in FIFA 16 when I was playing my FIFA 16 remotes. About two weeks later, oh, I hear he's joining Juventus in real life anyway. So I'm like, win win. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, you know, the one with a two man and strong force with Dybala and Morata. Let's do this. No room for Mario Mandzukic because I don't play that kind of style. Well, that would suit Mr. Mandzukic. So Dybala and Morata would be much better. Plus, they have a lot of potential. I could I'd have two high A he players banging in goals left, right, and center at the end of the season if they play my cards right. Mandzukic... It may make cup appearances, is but I wouldn't hold my breath if I was him. Mm. Sammy Kadira would be playing in this match, but like I said, it's die If I'm going to Liso his debut, who you will see the German in in the game against Roma. So, oh here we go. Oh first game. Mm. Is it Juventus match? Or I'm actually back at Juventus. Uh, that's because I was Juventus manager in FIFA 14 as well. Well, so Juventus are chosen again. And as you guys know, I choose my teams from my secondary career modes that complete ra them and through wheeldecide.com. Um, obviously the wheel has is some love for the Italian giant 
hints, hints. Having picked them out yet again. Hmm. Of course, I only pick teams from the top four. Or normally. And, uh, yeah. So unless you went to do finish in the top four to see in which if their start to the season is anything to go by, they won't. But then again, they've turned it around, unlike Chelsea. Also, oh, wasn't that a fucking shocker? Jose Mourinho sacked. I mean, everyone was expecting it, but it was still kind of a shocker, you know. Everyone was like, oh, it's only a matter of time, but I think even when it was announced, people were still a bit shocked because they probably thought it would happen instantly after they lost to Leicester, but, you know, they decided to wait till Monday. Why? Don't know. Um, I mean, not Monday. They decided to wait till Thursday. It was Monday was when they lost. Monday is when they should have fired him. I mean, then no one would be like, "Oh, why didn't they fire him on Monday? Why did they keep him around for four days? Did they expect something to happen in four days that would change their mind?" I don't know. But all I know is, Jose Mourinho, just forget about being the best, man. Because the best don't get sacked. I've never been sacked from a job. Ever. Because I'm always, I always win. And I have way more trophies than Jose Mourinho. So the best is, is being watched right now by you guys. I'm the best. Not Jose, not Pep, not uh, Louis Van Gaal. Uh, uh, hell, not even your Hergen is on my level. No one is on my level. I have more trophies than in them all. Oh. And I'm only going to add to the, those here at Juventus. Hell, I won the Champions League with Gladbach when I should have had no... Oh, well... When if you look at the strength of the Gladbach team and the fact that they were up until recently struggling in real life. Oof. They turned it around so much they beat Bayern. Although they did lose. They did get a bit of a smashing from uh, Leverkusen who were also doing very well. But mostly until recently. It was all. Oh, well, oh, it. Oh, yeah. You know. But there's no question anymore. Her. Number one is Corey Pierce. Don't accept any substitutes. And yeah, as says you got There's no I. Hey, watch. MG. Hey, choose another her, FIFA YouTuber who. Primarily does career mode. Matt, you cheeky son. I don't know if you'll ever see this. But if you do. I don't appreciate you. Who put. Mm, calling yourself the. Oh god. Or king. Or whatever you're putting on your shirt. Hurt. Hurt. You're lucky I don't have that. A copyright. In fact, I should get a copyright, and then you'd owe me a lot of fucking money. Hmm. How would I go about that? Hmm. I would have to look into that, but... Uh, there is only one true... Who... Power in... I mean, Matt, you're good. But what... A trophy... What's in your trophy case, huh? I've seen almost every single way... Your career modes, modes, you don't always win. And even if you do, when was last? You're never, you're very rarely on legendary. I play all the time on legendary. He. 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 
Viewers of my little who are more sick of seeing me win on Legend there. He, 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 he. Which is why I keep asking EA to add Ultimate as a, a difficulty in career mode, which they should. I mean, oh, I just gonna get stiff and boring and repetitive. Have it's almost to the point where where you where I almost consider her her filling with the uh, sliders to make the opposition better to give me a bit of a challenge. That's the point we've gotten to. I mean, career mode. What's for about now, ladies and gentlemen? Although I haven't scored yet here, her. Maybe Paul Buck can break that. That cycle. Oh no, he might have gotten the goal had the defender not got a good block in there. Her. Her. Still gonna win this match. Pretty confident. I'm gonna start with. Draw. Although Juventus lost this match in real life, if I think it was two one. So uh. Anything, as long as I don't lose it, anything I do is an improvement. <laughs> but uh, I do want to win. Alright, uh, Pogba. Cordrado. Speaking of Chelsea, here's Chelsea's unknown player to us. Marta! Yes! There it is. There's the first goal. Oh, it took near 70 minutes. I don't know why it took that long, but uh, there you go. The unique Z keeper, he was having the time of his life. But I ba la. Uh, uh, sinks that ship very fucking quickly. Or, well, actually, very fucking slowly in the 69th minute. Ha ha ha. Yes, have all the laughs. Oh, yes, Dybala. Maybe he can make it quick 2 0. Oh, wow. I didn't hit it with any kind of power whatsoever. If I hit that with power, that's 2 0 every day of the week. Wow. That was a really silly mistake there. Yo, can yo can this guy he give Anderson like two seconds of space here, please? Toliso, any chance you're gonna pull that back for the free kick? Kick you were gonna give? I mean, look, you gave it. Oh, oh wait, it's a corner. I thought it was a goal kick. <laughs> I was like, um, never mind. And wait, oh. Was that? I don't know who. Oh, it was Marata again. I was wondering who was. I was like, none of my center backs have hair. Because <laughs> Benucci and Cellini are both of a uh, pretty bald. Well, no disrespect meant like that's, but uh, the hair on your head is not uh, exactly uh, all there. Come on, if I can make a mistake here. Or from the defense, the I can pounce on it and make it 2 0. Yes! yes! There's the mistake I was looking for. Er, here's Pogba. Ah, oh, they fucking got it off me dicks. Anderson! Sandro loses the ball. Uh, oh, gets it. We got it back here, Sandro again. Foul? No? Cadrado's gonna win that. Perfect. There's Dybala. Same true Cadrado. Back to Pogba. Po Pogba! Oh, off the crossbar! Are you shitting me? Pogba denied by the crossbar. Huh. 
Oh, I got the three points. It didn't matter in the end. And there's the win. And, and then already I've started better than Juve did it in real life with a 1-0 win instead of a 2-1 loss. I could be wrong. It could have been 3-1. I think it was 2-1. Correct me if I'm wrong. Wrong. I know they did lose it, but uh, the scoreline is now starting to really get fuzzy in my brain. It is December, and that was August. Uh, in any way, in any event, I did it, what you just failed to do in real life, and that was d defeat. Um, or after forgetting their name, <laughs> Unesi. Unesi. I'm sorry. I don't know why I forgot their name so quickly. I'm just... That, that, that's how, how much attention I'm really paying, to be honest. Just, I zone out quickly. Hey. Look at that. Talisa up to a 76. The uh, young goalkeeper I have on my books, who I'm looking to loan out. Hopefully he'll get a lo an offer before the end of this, the window. Is now up to a 66. Good. Yeah. Now I put uh, in Kadera before the game against. Just, um. Although Toliso did play very well, so uh. Just gonna put that there. Uh, I'm not gonna put Hernandez out of the bench, but I am gonna put. Baloui up here. He's on loan as well. Or is it he, he's on loan until Lisa was bought? One of them was bought. And uh, I'll check there now for you guys in case you're interested in picking up this mellow fellow for yourself. Where I got him. I think it was Celta Vigo. I could be wrong. Um, let's see. Yeah, it was Celta Vigo. Look at that. Boom. He came relatively expensive. 17 million. But, you know, 78, right? It, you know, he slots into that first team automatically. He way better than Listeiner, who I was never going to play at, at right back. No chance in hell was I going to play him at right back. back and as you can see, he cut there. That's telling me he is okay to play. He did suffer a small injury. That's another reason why I didn't play him in the first game. Him six versus seven. Really a big clash because Roma will definitely be one of those teams I'll be looking to beat to the title. They finished second in Serie A last season. Not sure how they're doing in real life. Not really a huge avid watcher of Serie A, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't have the time to watch anything other than occasionally La Liga. Plus, there's nowhere in Ireland you can watch the Italian league that I know of, except online. And uh, I don't have the time to watch every single Juve match, unfortunately. Anyway, a nice early victory over Roma will really s him. He up to taking her lead in the title race. He's, of course, coming up against a few un noteworthy names. Chesney, you know, on loan from Arsenal. Pizanic, then Golan, and Salah, so... Both unknown Chelsea wingers are playing in this match. Cadrado for me and Salah for them. And of course, Enjeco, who's unknown from Manchester City. Javinho, former Arsenal player. Or so, three players who played in the Premier League. In the Roma offensive line. Two who are on loan, one is permanent. Of course, that's uh, Javinho. So I'll be looking. Out for Roma's dirty, dirty pace. He's abusing, but uh, I can abuse his pace. I mean, 
And Quadrado is fast, and, and Anderson is not a slow by any means. So, oh, if they want to play the pace game, I will happily play the pace game in, with the almost confidence that I could easily win it. I might get an early goal to feel better about the last game. That would uh, help if I don't lose the ball in just outside the box. Kadera going for the shot. I'm just going to go for a corner on us. Morata could stop it and he couldn't. It's Prezanic. I did plan to see. I use him in one of my uh, secondary career months. I haven't decided which one yet. Let's see if. The need arises. Is is I only sign players where the team is the weak is according to their our budget. Of course, with you I had a bigger budget than I would at Marcel Gus and Blabak. Oh, yeah, I mean plus Gus and Blabak. I don't know why I said better than that. Anyway, Marta scores again. Second goal. Two. Both goals so far. Armaratas. So it's clear to see who who has the uh, goal scoring touch so far. Dybala has yet to score. Since he joined Juventus in real life in the summer, that game against Unese was technically his debut as well. Huh? First away game for the new signings. Not just the ones I brought in, but the uh, ones brought in by Juventus in real life, like Dybala and like Sandro. Come on, come on, come on. Arta, Kadira, Anderson, come on, come on, come on, show me some space, S didn't show it, Marata, oh come on, fall to somebody, yes, that's Kadira, come on Sammy, come on, Pogba, Here's Gervinho on the attack for Roma. Are they going to abuse the pace or are they going to get it into the box for Dzeko? Oh, although Dzeko can hit him! Ooh, luckily I have such a good keeper. Or Gianluigi Buffon, it'll take more than, than that to beat one of the greatest keepers this game has ever seen. I don't think anyone would argue that. I mean, Buffon is a legend, no matter who you ask. Yeah, he's not on a Oliver Can type stay as you know. Can was unworldly at times, but you know, Buffon is he's his own kind of legend. You know, he, he won the World Player of the Year, didn't? He? When uh, Italy won the World Cup, one of the only he goalkeepers to ever do with. As far as I know, Ferrazzi, he barging in there, hurt to prevent a Paul Pogba a goal, and there's halftime whistle. Well, of course, why not? So far, so good in this match. 1 0 up already. It took to about the. It took. Way longer than that. Had to get 1-0 up in the uh, 
in the game against Udinese, it took to the 69th minute. And that's out for a uh, throw to Roma. Prevent them from throw to. Okay, but my players don't want to uh, try and help. Hope I could tell that they were going to throw it to Gervinho, but and I was trying to get my player into position to block the throw to Gervinho, but he ran fucking away. And it switched me to someone who was who I wasn't prepared to move. Quadrado. Dybala. Sorry, that was, um, that was Morata. That was who gave it to Dybala. In the past, didn't find Pogba. Quadrado. Malo. That's mine. Mine, 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 mine. What? Come on, that's mine. Are you shitting me? He. That clearly went all off the forehead. Head. That is Dravino. Who? Oh, and you're like, nah, it didn't. It, it, it totally went all off my player. Fuck you. You game. You're making shit up as you're going along. It's not fair. Come on. Close them down, close them down. Goal kick? I mean, <laughs> throw. <laughs> Not sure why I said goal kick. Fucking out of it. I'm recording for hours on end, mother. Hours. I've been sitting here for hours. I have to pre record this shit. It's good. I was so busy. Hey, this is pro. Maybe the last video I record before or until after Christmas. So if you notice last videos over the next week, that's why. And that's why there wasn't a video on Friday. More than likely you're gonna get one Saturday, you're gonna get one on Tuesday, which is today, and you're gonna get one Thursday. And that'll hold you off until I come back on probably the 28th will be my next upload in the, of that, unfortunately. So, because I know I forgot to say it in my, uh, in my Thursday video. Oh, so I'll say it here. Merry uh, Christmas to you all. And all I'd like for Christmas is a second hole ho on this match. And EA yeah, are like, nah, we're going to be Scrooge. Probably should have given that to somebody else, to be honest. I, first time taking a free kick with this team, I had no idea who the free kick takers are. Or probably a better option, I just hit it with whoever was uh, on it. I didn't even think about it. Probably an R free kick, no? That's not an R free kick. Right. Morata. Go on. Kadira? Fucking, what is he doing there? He's offside. Of course it is. Why, why fucking wouldn't he be? <sighs> Stay on side, Kadira. You're ruining my life. Or you're ruining my day anyway. Kadira. I would pass it, but he's probably going to be fucking offside because this dickhead he can't keep his flight down. Shadow. Oh. Skillful play, skillful play. Pogba. Ah, oh, come on! Two one no wins. <laughs> Six points from two games. That's good, whoever you ask. 
That's much better than the start that Juventus did have. So, oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Marata is again the here. I was scoring the only goal. And that was the only <laughs> highlight of the fucking... That was the only highlight of the game. So this is how boring that game was. I was like, ugh, just get it over with. Fuck's sake. You're boring us all to hell, goddammit. So, oh, that is it for the first episode of my Juventus career mode. As, as I will be back after Christmas. It's for more Italian and goodness. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a Merry Christmas. And I'll see you all. Oh, 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 oh,